Ah, another day, another dollar. Not on the gas pump, so you think if I have over hundreds of thousands of dollars, I might be able to put this back in motion, but nope. <sighs> we could be making so much money just off of this. We could. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Brother? Just hanging out here. Around the garage. We got some things to do today. Got some experiments. I need to get the most value out of this engine. I know we did a three-star engine. We did a whole three-star car. Not worth it. Not worth it. But it could be worth it to just get your performance parts. That's right. But I want to see like the levels, the tiers, if you will. This is a V6B engine. It's quite lovely, quite quaint. It's got a bunch of parts that we can upgrade to performance and see what we get. The car that this came out of, well... I mean, it came straight out of the movies, bro. Ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 It's fancy. It's made by pain. The DeLorean is here. Although it doesn't have any kind of crazy special effects. Not like the DLC that one time, you know? But at the same time, there is some fancy doodads in here. Hold on. We got to, we got to scope this out. We have to. We have to. We must. We must. We must. Oh, no. It's on bricks. Look at this thing. There's six different variants. Uh, six. Uh, there's multiple variants. You can just get a straight up DeLorean. You can make it gold. You can make it black. There's a wide body kit, carbon fiber kit. There's three different kinds of time machine ones. I got this one in the car salon because, well, I mean, there's only one way you can get it, and that's new. For me, anyway. For this experiment. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to go ahead and do it. But it's the car version, the time machine. <laughs> like I said, check it out. Zero mileage on it. Well, where we're going, we don't need roads. Well, for the time being, we will though. So, I want to get the most value out of this engine and out of these pads as we possibly can because we're in the hole. Sell value right now is $40,000. Yeah. Right. Now, when I took the uh, the engine was still in there, the actual sell price is $118,000. This is because I don't have the engine, in, and then we're missing a couple parts. So, I'm going to scope it out. We're going to upgrade some performance parts. I'm going to take this piece of pad. It's going to be fun. First, we need the basic. This has 332 horsepower. That's the basics. Now, I'm going to take it, and we are going to put on those sweet, sweet performance parts. It's gonna be a little bit of a different episode. You're gonna see me try to like work out numbers and stuff. Help me. Help me. Let's go ahead and put in all of the paths for performance that we can. And we're gonna do one star. Then we have to take the whole thing apart again. And then we'll do two stars. And then we'll test it and take it apart again and get the three stars, just the performance parts, just to see what kind of rise we get in value and in those sweet, sweet horsepowers. Lovely, don't forget the release bearing. We'll get some oil filters in here. We'll get the alternator, bang. There's a performance part right there for your keister. And let's see here, power steering pump. These are all power performance parts, loving it. And let's go ahead and turn around. Every now and then I just need to work on a DeLorean engine for me. Yes, let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this on. Fuel filter, rocking it. Engine heads, that she gives great helmet. Lovely. And let's get these manifolds in here. All of them can be put in as sweet and sexy performance parts. Lovely. It's gonna be a lot of, I have a feeling that I have, I have 2,900 scrap parts because we've been just grinding, leveling, getting after it. And I would like to get more. Something tells me I'm not going to have enough because all of these parts right here, spark plugs, the ignition coils, all of them are performance. But again, we're not messing around with anything else. So we'll see. We'll see if I can actually get away with just, just 3K or roughly 3K. Yikes. Okay, let's put this intake. Manifold, 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 and we'll drop in this intake manifold. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. How many fuel rails do I have to put on this jam? 
how many you say? Two fuel uh, fuel rails. Those I don't have. Yeah, let's go V6 B aggressive, B E aggressive. Let's grab snag up two of those joints. Boom, throttle, V6, crushing it. And that should do the trick. Fancy, trancy. On the ball. Let's go ahead and put that off. Okay. Now, last but not least, when we go ahead and mount all of our performance parts, do not forget the gearbox. Gotta get a performance gearbox, bruh. And also, starter, of course, we'll pop that on there. But also, do not forget the fuel pump as well. This is also a performance part. This is also zero stars. Zero stars, everything's normal. Are we normal? Is everything normal? Okay, now everything's back together. $130,577. Now, before the uh, performance parts, we were at $118,040. It's now, like I said, $130,577 with a bonus of $12,537, which is roughly around 10%. 10% boost. A boost. Now, we have to see what it does to our performance. In the dyno. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, crap. Hold on. I always forget. Got to put oil on it. Okay. Yes. Let's go. brother oh yeah it's a 63% boost I digs it okay now I get to take this beast apart again and see what happens when we boost it up to a one star one star performance parts let's go so I gotta be very careful to not double click <laughs> so it's such, such a tendency to do that don't want to, oh, okay, sure. Why not just do that? Just waste scrap, just scrap wasting. <clears throat> just scrap wasting over here. Only the performance parts, only the performance parts. My friends, my friends, my friends. Boop you. This might get a little dicey later on. When we start getting up towards three stars, it's going to get a little dicey. I have a feel around two stars. Throwing that out there. Okay. All the performance parts. One stud. Alrighty here. I also uh, forgot to mention that there is a performance parts uh, for the air filter as well. So the air filter. Don't forget the air filter. Don't forget it. You won't forget it. You won't. I believe in you. Trust, believe in you. Dreamy, you can do it. Life's a garden, baby. Dig it. Boom. Pop this over in here, the trunk. Come on. boy. You're looking fancy. All right. Let's see here. Oh, now it only went up 1,158 credits. I think that's because the air filter wasn't added before. So, 131,000. The stars don't help the value. Really? Really? Still, it's about 10% with that value uh, rocking and rolling. Hmm, that's a bummer, man. Let's go ahead and move this over normal mode. Thank you, appreciate that. Over to the dyno. Let's see how fast we can boost this. Got to put some oil in there. Let's go ahead and start this John up. And let's roll. And this may have a little bit extra boost because of the air filter as well. My apologies, my apologies, but that one piece, can't forget it. We boosted it by 7%. 7%. 70, 70% total boost. Loving it. 
Okay. Two stars it is. Two stars. Let's go to the two stars. All right. Do, 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 ba -do, ba -do. You know, the more and more that you take apart an engine, you kind of get the gist of what you actually need to succeed and get through this crazy wackadee world. Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and get these stars. Get these stars over here. I'm so used to taking apart a full engine all the time that I'm taking apart every single thing and I'm realizing that I don't need to do that just to get to the performance parts. So it's kind of nice. I'm learning. I'm learning. It's like when taking apart all the engine just to get to your pistons, you don't need to worry about taking out the crankshaft or the oil filter and there's certain parts like these arms over here that you don't need to take off. Technically, I don't even think you need to take off any of this now that I'm thinking about it. Eh, that's a lie. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not a lie. I don't need to take off any of this stuff. Silly goose. Silly diesel. Throw it back in here. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Now, the best thing about the DeLorean is, is that you don't have to take any of the wheels off to be able to get to the prize, or the, aka the engine. Let's go ahead and put the air filter on here. Let's put the air filter cover. Yes. Because these things aren't connected. It's a mod. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Shh. It'll be okay. Because it's not connected to the actual uh, gearbox, you don't have to worry about taking the wheels off and then getting the drive axles off to take off the gearbox. It can all just be taken off in one quick swipe. So that's kind of nice, for this, especially for this kind of experiment. Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. put this here. Gearbox, boom, crushing it. Love it. Oh, I can't see. Help. There we go. Starter. Wunderbar. And... Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you are. Put that fuel pump on there, brother. <laughs> and the trunk. Okay. Look at that. Now it's $131,704. Uh-huh. So it's gaining, but ever so slightly. In the credit situation, we're almost breaking even. Almost. I don't think we're going to, but... There's always the chance. Let's go ahead and see what the dyno has to say about it. Now, of course, if we align some of the wheels, if we do a little test path, we might be able to bring it up. But I don't know. Two hundred and fifty three horsepower gained. Nice. That brings up to five eighty five. Last time it was seventy percent. Now it's seventy seven percent. Seems like it's getting boosted up every seven percent. Every single time we do a star to every single pat in the performances. Crushing it. Goes up just a tad, a smidge, a hint. Well, now comes the coup de gras, the tour de force. The moment we've all been waiting for. Three stars on the performance. Will it be enough? I don't think it's going to do me a whole lot of good. The moment of truth. Can we get hold of you? In the performance, three stars. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Yep, yep, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is going to be expensive. I really, fingers crossed. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> dirty scrap. You're, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. 30. What else can we got here? Pistons. Just the worst. All right. Fine. 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 To the junkyard. To the junkyard. Fine. Fine. Nothing like spending an extra 12 grand to try and figure out if you can make five. <laughs> or one. Can I make one grand? Whatever. It's a DeLorean. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It's a classic. Not even just a classic car, but a classic movie car. That's one of my favorite cars in Car Mechanic Simulator are the movie cars, the, the, the novelty. I will say this, though. I always wanted Sweet Tooth's ice cream truck from Twisted Metal. Make it happen. Come on, somebody. I dare you. I dare anyone. Any modder out there. And... Aww. Hopefully this will be enough. Oh, wait. Where am I going? There, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, I have 82 parts left. Now check this out, check this out. Oh wait, the manifold? Oh, I forgot the manifold. Oh no! Uh, 
Well, at least it's not too much. Oh, there we go. Finally, it goes through. All right, all right. Let me just get one last part. One last part. Jeez. All right, now I'm shooting for a hundred scrap. I know that the parts are 97, but we're shooting for a hundo. At least it's easier. It's easier that way. Kind of gauge it out. Plus, I'll, I'll have all these parts. Come on, man. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> man, what a pain. All right. Whew. Is there any other parts that I may have forgotten? It doesn't look it. It doesn't look it. I think it was because uh, there was four camshafts and I just wasn't noticing that uh, they were all repairing or they were all upgrading and then vanishing for some reason. I was bugging out, man. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll add this on here. Clutch plate. It's awesome. Clutch pressure plate. Shore this up. Take this pressure, clutch bearing, release plate, fuel filter. Let's go ahead and spin this around. Since we don't need to take the crankshaft out, we can keep the crankshaft caps on. Boop, boop. And then we'll put on the rod caps because they're annoying. All right, alternator. I'll tell you what, let's turn this around. Now, of course, when you try this, it all, it's all oh, upside down, upside down. There we go. It's all depending on what kind of engine that you are working with or starting out with. With this one, I don't need to take off any of these to get to the pads. It's beautiful power steering. Throw that joint on there. Let's get these manifolds. Not the manifold, the engine heads. Then we'll get the then we'll get the manifolds. Drop this like a top. Make sure we get in the spark plugs. Hit enter for speed and for comfort. Awesome, awesome, yes, beautiful camshaft. Cranking it out, crankshaft bearing, plate. I don't know why I called it caps. Let's put a plate, but I'll go with it. Now, when it comes to the parts as well, it's probably better if you have a decent set, a decent amount. Probably gonna need about 4K to upgrade everything to the tippy top, all three stars. So 4,000 scrap minimum, just for the performance parts. It seems like that's really the, uh, the best way to go when it comes to some value and just like your time. <laughs> <laughs> Even that's a that's a little bit of a stretch. Let's not get nuts. This is taking me quite a bit of time to try and just get these performance parts rocking and rolling for you. So let's go ahead and put on this engine head. Now, of course, if I get anything wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm sure I will hear it from you. <laughs> Seems like no matter what I do, I hear it from you. No matter what. Actually, Diesel, you messed up right here. Yes, I did. You are 100% right. Sometimes you just gotta own it. Like, yep, you're right. I was wrong. But, again, E for effort, right? An E for effort. All right, serpentine. Drop it in there. Belt tensioner. Rocking it. Put on the timing covers, because we can put them all on right now. One, two. Pop, pop. Three. Whoa, there you are. Boop this down here. And there's only two idler rollers that we'll need to pop in. One, and there's the belt. And we need to take this one off to start the whole chain. Beautiful. Now let's head up top here, get those fuel rail DIs. Get that manifold. Intake manifold, manifold, manifold. And, oh, can't forget ignition coils. There we go. Now we pop in the throttle. We are all set to rock and roll. Let's take it off the engine. Whoa, where am I? Hey, 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 hey. Pop this in here, install. Loving it. You can you can go now. You can go now. You, you may take leave. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the air filter. Cover that up. Gotta cover up your filters. All right, fuel pump. Cracking it, and last but not least, gearbox. Drop, drop, drop. It in there, starter. We are finito, my friends, for the day. Nice. And what kind of value has it given us? I don't think it's gonna be a whole, whole lot. 
It is not. But it's slight. So the star does give us a little bit of resale value. But like by a thousand. That This literally gave me, nope, $500 more than the last one. That's a bummer, man. Spend all that time dropping all these parts in, all your scrap, upgrading all your performance parts just to give you a $500 credit boost. Man, man, oh man. And just the performance parts value, $16,053. Uh, 16053 I almost said 53 cents. It's not, it's not, it's not. But everything's looking nice. I mean, we're losing out on profit. Mostly because if you get a regular DeLorean and then you kind of maybe turn it into, get the, uh, the, the modded parts, you can up the value of your DeLorean by putting all this hotness in here. But I don't think you're going to have the interior pieces. Just saying. To the dyno. Ready, set. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. Six hundred and six horsepower. I am feeling it. Eighty-three percent, so it's a six percent boost from our two-star. That's a bummer, man. So when it comes to the money, when we go in and put in regular performance parts, we went from one hundred eighteen thousand up to one hundred thirty thousand, so it's twelve grand. And then from that point on, it added about six hundred dollars to the next star. Then it added another six hundred dollars to the second star. And then the third star, again, another $600. Garbage. <laughs> Yo, let's go drive. Let's drive this thing. I want to see how fast we can go. Let's see here. Come on, brother. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Fifth gear. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Lee, come on, come on, two hundo, yes. Ooh, boom, nice, <laughs> good, good, good. Got over two hundo. That's what I was shooting for. Ah, it's kind of a bummer. It is. A little bit, but you know what? You know what's not a bummer? This whip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you know what? You know what? This is gonna be the first one I keep. That's my choice. Big fan. All right, inventory. Let's get rid of all these parts. I am so fed up with the scrapyard. I'm so fed up with scrapping that it makes me kind of want to gag. A little bit. I kind of throw up a little bit in my mouth anytime that I need to. I, I think about it. I really think that the way to go is just do your jobs, do your pots, do all your uh, your your fun things, and you, you, your story missions, you know, all your restorations, and then whatever you get from your level. Oh, speaking of well, speaking of level, we got a level. There we go. Ooh, can I get? Oh, nice. We're almost there. We're almost maxed out and cracked out. <gasps> Awesome, but even from that, oh, we don't have any crates. Got to increase my luck of getting those crates. Getting the uh, spare parts from the crates seems like it's just the most feasible way instead of having to spend a bunch of cash. The performance parts, it's just not worth it. The stars, I don't like it. I don't like it. But folks, let me know how you like this video because that is going to be our video for the day. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some my channel ever so much more you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and subscribe. New videos come out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Everyone, peace out, like shout y'all, and I'm going to check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, baby. Next time.